Hello, the demonstration of MATLAB simulation of ultrasound based blood clotting detection. Now, at the beginning, we will be generating an ultrasound signal. So, when you do ultrasonic scan of the area where there is a blood clotting, the signal will be something similar to this. Now, in case if you if there is a clot you know the signal will deviate introducing one extra section over here and if the measurement is not clear say if there is quite some noise you know it gets very difficult for the doctor the signal will be something like this it gets very difficult for the doctor to uh, you know find out that uh, there is a clotting if you increase it as you can see it is highly impossible for anybody to understand if there is a clotting or not if I reduce the you know clotting you know if there is any changes uh, it's uh, significantly indeterminable uh, by the naked eye now I'll be carrying out an analysis process in the beginning I'll give uh, clotting called the zero uh, the analysis part will be first uh, performing a FFT and then will be filtering the signal. We can vary the signal depth, uh, you know, according to our needs. And uh, as you can see, this is going to show me the main signal and its uh, spacing. This is the main sequence. And uh, whenever there will be a clotting, there will be an alternative sequence. Now, in case. If you analyze this the signal and you know if you keep it uh, something over here this is the ideal value it shows no clotting if you increase the clotting depth if you analyze it correctly detects that uh, there is a clotting it uh, is based on the detection of an alternative peak along with the main peaks algorithm that tries to detect an alternative peak now the algorithm is so signal that uh, if you increase the noise even when you increase the noise significantly and you say analyze you still be able to you know detect the signal so here the noise percentage is quite heavy when you make the analysis part it's still able to detect uh, the presence of the clotting peak now with this noise if i make my clotting is equal to zero as you can see that this is almost the same signal but it still able to uh, the system still is able to determine that there is no clotting even in the uh, presence of so much noise and if I increase the clotting depth uh, which again is undeterminable uh, you know we cannot determine it um, through neck dyes and if we say analyze and if we just try to adjust this one this is quite a heavy noise you know which uh, leads to means detection so you know it's uh, unable to detect so when the noise is beyond certain level it becomes impossible for the system to determine it uh, but noise db uh, less than you know uh, if snr is more than uh, 10 dB under that situation, this program can easily obtain the, uh, you know, uh, the uh, ultrasound uh, signal. It can detect uh, easily. So this is the label, basic label. And with this, if you increase the noise percentage, it's still able to detect, but only up to mm -hmm. certain range and when you adjust the window uh, to pretty close even when there is no noise so in this situation it uh, and if you make the clotting depth uh, zero when you analyze uh, this is a misdetection so it's always makes sense to keep it in this range and uh, therefore whenever the clotting depth increases now it's quite uh, clearly visible uh, with the eyes it's uh, uh, not able to detect so now you can actually adjust your range 
because this is in the visible range and when it goes out of the visible range if you analyze it still detects the clot when you make it zero it's still there so this is visibly clear signal keep it over here increase noise still it can filter out the signal this is too much noise which introduces significantly higher bands of the signal as you can see subsequent bands so it considers that to be a clotting when the noise is little lower it detects properly and as and when you introduce the clot signal it uh, detects it properly so i hope you enjoyed the demonstration of blood clotting detection uh, so blood clotting uh, once more i'll recap is nothing but uh, the presence of an extra peak in the ultrasound signal which could be determined by fft but due to measurement noises such detection becomes very difficult and by using the fft peak alone you are never able to tell if there is a clotting or not so it requires windowing technique we apply a filter to window this fft signal in order to determine if there is a peak or not so this technique can quite effectively lead to the uh, successful detection of my clotting signal when the uh, you know clotting is a bit uh, higher so it can detect uh, through uh, appropriate analysis hope you uh, enjoyed the demo thank you